What is up guys? My name is Robert Donaldson and today we are back with episode number 161 of Rob's Best Bets. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at RobDFB. And if you do want more content like this in the future, please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton. But before we jump to the picks, I just want to give a massive shout out to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. And if you do want to get involved with the pick and videos that we do on this channel or give out on Twitter or just want to take part in similar daily contests, head over there and use my promo code ROBDFB at sign up and they'll match your first $100 up to 100%. And now let's hop into Tuesday's recap and man, oh man, yet another insane day. I mean, these days have been pretty frequent as of late. But they are not normal, man. I haven't been on a run like this in my entire betting career. That's just honest truth. And thank you, Mike Talkman. Thank you, Ryan Mountcastle, for going yard. You know, it could have been even better because Bryce Harper ended up actually hitting a home run in game two. We were on him in game one, but I know a lot of you guys actually did place the game two home run prop as well. So shout out to you for being more ballsy than I was. And it actually could have even been better than that because the Orioles on the money line was just a really bad beat. And the Brewers Rockies not going under was also tough. But that said, it's hard to complain when you're up 13.49 units in a given day. And all that being said, we have a really fun Wednesday slate here as well. So let's hop into these picks. All right, for our first pick of the day, we are heading over to Cleveland, where we have the Guardians taking on the Blue Jays, and Logan Allen has been on my fade list for well over a month at this point, because the hard hit percentages he's allowing are just inescapable, and I don't think he's going to escape them here either, so let's take the Blue Jays team total to go over four and a half runs for two units for our first play of the day. Four. Pick number two, we are heading over to Cincinnati where we have the Reds taking on the Marlins and this is a very early game. It's at 11.35 a.m. Central Time and I really love the angle here on the Reds as Graham Ashcraft has looked fantastic as of late and this Reds offense has been humming, especially against right-handed starters and Johnny Cueto also fits the bill of a guy who I don't want to be siding with as well right now. So let's take the Reds on the money line for three units for our second play of the day. For pick number three, we are heading out to Philly, where we have the Phillies taking on the Nationals, and let's get a little bit funky with this one because we've only played one first three innings bet all season long, and I'm ready to go back to that well because I really do think in the early stages of this game, we are going to be seeing a dormant offense with Mackenzie Gore going up against a bunch of lefties, and he also has looked really improved over recent starts, and Michael Lorenzen on the other side has also been pretty respectable as well. So let's take the first three innings to go under two and a half runs for three units for our third play of the day. All right, for our final play of the day, we are heading down to Arizona, where we have the D-backs taking on the Dodgers, and Merrill Kelly is just a stabilizing force for this D-backs rotation, and Bobby Miller, on the other side of things, has had some really ugly under-the-hood numbers as of late, and they are just screaming for regression, and they have been for quite some time now. And I know, we're not very bullish on the D-backs in general down the stretch here, but this is going to be a very winnable game for them here, and I also think we're catching a great number overall as well. So let's take the D-backs on the money line for four units for our final play of the day. All that being said, I really want to thank you guys for checking out today's video. And if you do want to show some love, head over to Twitter and drop a follow at RobDFB. You can also drop a like in this video. You can subscribe to the channel and you can comment down below. And as always, y'all, I will see you in a future video. Take it easy.